I'm Charlie from Nexus and I'm going to be talking to you about pegs to paper. So what's pegs to paper? Pegs to paper is a progressive handwriting system. This set of resources um, really helps early years um, with developing the skills they need uh, in order to write. And at Nexus we really believe that it's you you can't really just show a child some cursive writing and expect them to be able to recreate that without building on all the fundamental skills um, first. So we have a set of resources here that's been developed in partnership with Dr Angela Webb. She's a child psychologist and she's a former chair of the National Handwriting Association and was so for 12 years. Naturally she's very passionate about handwriting and we are too Nexus. We have um, had a range of uh, triangular pens and pencils and um, all, sort of, all sorts of um, uh, equipment for, for getting the best out of um, children's handwriting and trying to nurture that. But we really feel with this product here that, and we have had very good feedback about it and uh, very good success, success stories with the children um, in the uh, settings that we've, we've introduced this product into, um, that it's really, really improving, um, improving the handwriting. Um, so, I have my chart here, and this gives us a, a basic breakdown of what this set of resources cover. So, it develops a tripod grip. Now, how does it do that? So, we have our pegs here. So, I'm going to take these closer to the camera, because it's going to be very hard to see from back there. And these are designed in a very, very particular way to encourage a tripod grip. Now, this curved section here at the top me having an adult hand, um, my hands are too large, but for a small child, this will fit quite snug into the palm of their hand. Fingers are encouraged to go over and grasp it in the tripod grip in these grooves here. Now, of course, when children first pick things up, younger or young children, they're probably gonna pick it up in their fist like this. But um, they'll soon realize that they can't really do much um, until they expose this sort of area here of the peg which goes into the board naturally they're going to hold it in tripod grip so we're already happy there so we're going to get that going quite early on and we're going to um, in, try to instill some um, key patterns into their brains as you can see some examples of our pattern cards um, on the banners here and we're going to use basic shapes uh, to instill that we're going to encourage language development so everything they do on the cards when they repeat that back to you and tell you where those pegs are and um, what they're doing. It's language development that you're building with the child. So that's gonna go all throughout um, the program. It's very, very good for basic numeracy. Uh, it lends itself very, very well to number bonds uh, and things like that, uh, which I'll be showing you that very, very soon. Um, and for all the exercises that we are doing, we're gonna use both halves of the brain. Um, we're gonna use both halves of the body, use both halves of the brain, connected by the bridge in the middle. It sends um, healthy signals across both halves. This is a proven fact that it encourages learning. And it's another um, sort of um, strength of this product being such a, um, physical, um, a physical activity in their real environment. They're really going to um, develop that cognitive, um, all those, those sort of brain, um, all that brain development is going to be very, very well nurtured through these activities. And uh, culminating in the end, it prepares for all subjects because of um, this sort of preparation they're doing. And so what I'm gonna do is show you our sets, our very basic form of our sets, just some key products from each of the set, um, just to show you the, uh, the progression that, the, that they go into. So what we have here is our first set, which are five by five boards. And uh, they are very, very good. We have a 10 by 10 board in the next set. But these have two strengths to them. One is that you can link them together, because they're like the jigsaws. And uh, four of these would make one of these. Um, but also, they have an exact middle as well, which these boards don't. So it's another um, strength to start with this one. Five, uh, five by five in five colors, nice and simple as a first starting point with a child. And then, as you can see behind me here, this is our first set of pattern, uh, pattern cards. And 
they're sort of like a starting point and they progress into more difficulty later. But I'm going to show you an example, uh, which is middles. So if I'm going to carry out what's on this card onto the board, what I want to first do is find uh, the child's um, dominant hand. Um, best way really is to ask them to pick, pick something up and see which hand they go for. It's something to be um, developed and nurtured, but um, when, you, when you think you've found that hand, you want to nurture that and make sure they, they, they're working on that, that dominant hand. So I'm right-handed, so if I was to do this exercise, I would want my pegs on my less dominant side, which is my left. And if I'm copying this card, I'm going to pick my blue peg out my left, place it into my right in the tripod grip, and I'm going to push into this board. Now, I'm developing, just by pushing that into the board, it's, it's, it's not too hard, but it's quite firm, and I'm developing the strength in my wrist and my lower arm, building that dexterity, and all the while using the tripod grip. So we're already covering those important, those important things. So let's hit on a language development with this, with this um, board and this card. So I have an exact middle with this. So I found my middle, I found what's above, I can find what's below, I can find what's left and what's to the right. Um, going on to our red, our red dots here, top right, top left, and so on. And what I'm doing is I'll create a pattern, but there's so much language in that. I can get the chance to relay to me and repeat back to me uh, where, where's this peg, where's this peg, what colour is this peg, and all these, all these, um, all this different language that we can build with the child. Um, and it's basically about them copying the pattern cards and like I say, repeating back to you. So what they, when they've done that, what they can then do is you have these um, blank dot sheets which they can use. Uh, if they were working from, say, this card, they could create circles using the pens to create what they have done on the pegboard onto the sheet. Now, there's all, all sorts of important reasons to do this. There's obviously, the, um, again, the language um, that they can develop again. But what they're doing is they're, they're going around these circles in an anti-clockwise fashion. And this is very important for them understanding um, the, the basic foundation of all of the, all of the main letters. So you, your A's, um, your C's and your E's and everything. Uh, um, it's all going to come round in an anti-clockwise circle, the main, the main sort of part of that letter. And what they will do naturally is they will go a bit skew if and they will probably do it a bit too large or a bit too close together and all this sort of thing. As they go and, and they go over and over these exercises and get these circles much tighter, they're going to develop their finger spacing and all these kinds of things we need for literacy, uh, which is from them just making circles. Great thing about this as well, you can photocopy their evidence and it's very, very good to show, um, uh, very good for Ofsted, to show Ofsted um, the development and how the children have come along. So, like I said before, balls can link together because you can make uh, you could do, you could have more than one child um, working on the same pattern card, bring it together and see if they have the same, the same pattern going. Um, you can create patterns along these and long lines, so they're quite fun. Also, going back to the basic numeracy, is that they can create very good numbers, very, very clear um, number recognition. So, one, two, red. And one, two, three, blue equals one, two, three, four, five, um, all together. So you can go vertically like that. You can go like so. You can do number bonds, like I was mentioning. So one, two, and one, two, three is five. It's very, very clear and distinct. So that's basically uh, set one in a nutshell. Let's move on to set two, which goes onto our giant pickle. So we have a whole new set of um, pattern cards here, um, which these are more, these were the first cards which gets the child into uh, basic pattern making, uh, positioning and things like that, getting them to used to it with the first five, um, five by five boards and five colours. Now they're getting ten colours, so introducing, introducing five new colours, and these pattern cards are more geared towards uh, the way that we form our pages and our writing, and our literacy. So the first card here, as you can see, what do we have? 
Um, 10 red pegs, top to bottom, uh, starting on the left hand side. And this is how we do all of our um, writing on pages. So we start at our top left and work our way down. And of course, it goes on and on throughout um, the, the pack cards. Seen um, illustrated again here on the banners. So if I was to copy this first um, card, I've got my um, card holders here, which is quite handy as well. So I can pop those in there. And I'm going to work from that card. So, we have our pegs on our left-hand side. Um, I'm going to take from my left again and work my way down. Now, strength for these is we're now into our 10 by 10 boards, which is a 10 by 10 metric system. So the number bonds are very good on this board as well. So you can have your, your eight and your twos and your, and your sevens and your threes and the different colours. It's a very, very distinct uh, way of showing uh, number bonds. Very, very effective. Um, but the idea is that you do uh, these exercises, um, triple grip, both parts of the body and all that, passing over from my left dominant hand into my dominant hand. Um, all the languages can be de developed with this. Uh, I mean, you could say 10 pegs, um, 10 red pegs, uh, 10 red pegs on which side? On the left hand side, um, going from top to bottom, um, in, in depending on how you've carried out the exercise. But all of this language we're instilling and we're asking them to repeat back. Um, and they create, they're, they're building their tripod grip and the strength in their wrists and everything like that. And all the dexterity is coming as well. So it's very, very effective. Also, we have our scheme cards in set two. So, not just patterns now. We have a whole a list of, um, of work cards which are giving ideas um, for the kinds of exercises you can do to build these skills with the children. And highlighted is our listen, do, say and draw. Um, so of course you listen to the uh, listen to the instruction, whatever the card suggests. You carry it out, so you do. You say what you've done, so you re you relay that back that, that language that you've instilled. I've done ten red pegs going down the left hand side, um, and then you draw. So then you copy that onto the photocopyable dot sheet, like I was mentioning before. That's our five by five. You get the ten by ten with this set, and then of course you can record um, how the child's getting along. Another strength of this board, which is highlighted in, in this pack here, is we have a straight line on the back of the board, like so. And I'll show you this card, I'll come up closer to the screen so you can see. It's just one of our, um, one of our cards in this pack. And basically, you can um, colour code uh, different letters. So your sort of A's and your C's, your smaller letters just above the line. One peg in, in a red above the line. Our B, for example, two pegs above the line in green, uh, same for the D, uh, and so on. The F is three pegs, one, two, two above and one below, in a purple, for example. So if you get these children to do these kind of exercises, they're going to start to understand um, the basic shapes of what these letters and how these letters are formed. So they're not actually doing handwriting, they're just having fun activities, but they're touching on all the important spatial awareness and the sizing, spacing, um, things that they need. These are our P2P pens. As I was mentioning, you can, you can copy your correct colours onto your photocopyable dot sheets. Um, and you can do it with these pens. Now these pens are the right colours for all of our pegs and pots. So they can go into these, like so. Um, set one, you have the, the pegs are fully uh, off, uh, filled up into the pot. Um, and in set two, they're half filled. So we can then put our our pens into here nice, uh, nice and easy as well. And just trying to work out which colours go where. That's how good I am. Um, so that's our set two. Um, and so moving on to our set three. This is um, our um, extension activity. So what they've done is they've done their peg exercises. And then when we come on to doing uh, the Lincoln Lace, we're then using a triangular pen type applicator. So they're now sort of uh, practicing just with a tripod grip of pegs, and now they're using something that's actually like a pen. And what we have here in the pack is all different color laces, which of course match our colors for our pegs and pots. So another reason for this extra space in these pots is we can pop our laces, which are all the correct colors, into, again, I've got to work out which colors are what, Come on, Charlie. There you go. There's your orange in your orange pot. So I need to do this program myself. Uh, blue in blue. There you go. And what we do is everything we've done on our giant pegboard, the 10 by 10, uh, meaning that 
for all of these uh, pattern cards, um, for using the pegs on a, on a 10 by 10 board, can be replicated on this um, Lincoln lace board. So if I feed my lace, I'll show you very clearly, feed my lace through the back of the applicator, pop out the end, I'm holding the grip, uh, which is towards the end, in the correct area, so the grip is hinting at where I should be holding this, this applicator. It's a tripod, and then I'll basically just push my lace in nice and easy. If I was to be copying that red peg card right there, and what we have is the same exact work card we've done on set two, we've now done on set three. And so it's linked up in, in, in our lace there, um, so you, rather than having the, the spaces between the pegs, you now have something that's more linked, that kind of hints at that cursive writing that we want to uh, inspire our children to, to carry out. So, that's basically pegs to paper in a nutshell. Um, in terms of quantities, just to go over um, the end, we have um, set one, uh, we have 16 boards in that set, um, which means uh, you can have four tables with four boards, they can go together to make one giant board as well. Um, we basically have made these sets so that they are the ideal sort of basic resource that you would need, the actual minimum that would have an impact in, a, in, a, in the average classroom, say reception class. Um, set two will come with four of these um, giant boards, so split that giant board into four, um, that would make up obviously um, four of those linking boards go together to make one of these, so it's the same amount of resources as you get in set one. Um, instead of 16 linking boards, um, you'll get um, four giant boards. Um, and, and then these linking lace boards, um, you get 16 of these in, in a pack as well, uh, in set three. And these, I forgot to mention, link nicely as well, just like our linking boards in the first, um, in the first set. They link together as well. Uh, again, very good for combining patterns that children make together um, and also having just extra extra fun outside of what the pattern cards and, and the scheme cards show you. Um, so that's basically pegs of paper in a nutshell. Good to mention as well, um, that's our sets one, two and three. Um, and we do a set four for anyone who has a set four. Set four is our nursery pack. And um, it's also as, as, as a taster pack sometimes as well for, uh, for primary schools. Um, but it's, it's, it's good for the average um, setting of, of a nursery sort of size. And what you have in that is um, you have half the resources that you have in set one with the linking boards and half the resources you get um, in set two. Um, and you also get your pens and your card holders in there as well. Um, and of course the, uh, the, peg, uh, the pegboard pattern cards come in there as well. Um, but that's, that's pegs of paper. Um, best of luck with anyone who has the resources um, and uh, we know it's going to have a great impact and we're just very, very excited about how this is really taking off around the country and, and, and around the world actually. Um, it's, it's, really, um, it's really, really showing improvement in, in early years, everywhere it's been used. And also with um, some SEN, older SEN um, pupils, um, ch ch older children that have problem forming their letters and it's very very good about getting that, let that, that finger spacing um, uh, more improved um, and many other things as well so um, thank you very much best of luck